Yeah. I'm going to get more. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'm going to get more. Okay, sure. Easy. 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 But ideally, with the driver, we want to be going up more than we want to really be going down. So we're just going to talk about a couple of things for that. Another neat trick to do, too, is to start with the club head, no, oh, six to eight, ten inches behind the golf ball. That's the old Moe Norman drill. This way, it gets the club back already. You can turn back behind it, and it, it's easier for you to swing up and through on the golf ball. So set. So I first get, I would get set in position, get it forward in the stance move the club back, and now I'm going to visualize swinging up on it when I make my swing. I start that with my feet together. I push the club forward. I step back. Then I step forward with the lead foot and through. Do it as slowly as you need to. Again, we're trying to feel the correct footwork. A really good drill for that, too, is to do the half swing drills or three-quarter swing drills with the club suspended up in the air at a 45-degree angle to you like this and just work on swinging back letting the club you know just rotate and let the club swing back freely but then when you come back down go underneath so rather than going out and over work on going back and then underneath and then through so it looks like this up and then you can see how it drops in underneath and where the shaft is pointing now it's pointing across the target line across me. So when the club comes down, it's got a better chance of coming from in behind and then to go up on the golf ball. So those two drills will help give you some feel for the, the correct sequence of motion when you're trying to move that club back and through. So back here, up, underneath, and then through. I just want to come on here today, and we're going to talk a little bit about... Uh, angle of approach with the driver and swinging with the driver and uh, one of the members in our group Ed, he, was, uh, he was trying out some new drivers and getting fitted for drivers and he was on a launch monitor and they were checking out some of his numbers and they found out that his angle of approach was a little bit downward or not optimal sort of what we talk about uh, and ed was getting really good distance you know almost 238 or almost 230 yards and he's 75 years old so that's a big accomplishment so we're, we're gonna i'm gonna give you a few tips today where you can maybe help maximize and optimize your driver for you and it's not about swinging swinging harder and all that or making a bunch of wholesale changes is about just some a little adjustments so that you can maybe do a little bit better for what you're doing um, um, no, just to take the numbers into a bit of grain of salt, first of all, though, to when we're looking at these, not even the tour players have perfect numbers all the time. So sometimes, you know, golfers will get hung up on, oh, my number's this, I, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, and this and that. And you get too hung up on the numbers and you forget about the results that you're trying to achieve when you're when you're doing that. So it's it's not about perfection. It's about optimizing and making what you do better. But ideally, with the driver, we want to be going up more than we want to really be going down. So we're just going to talk about a couple of things for that. Um, first of all, you know, we've got to get into the pattern of motion. That's the first thing that we really, really have to work on. So if you, if you find you're consistently swinging downward at the ball, you're probably swinging from out to in quite a bit and your swing sequence is breaking down. So there's a couple of things that are happening to cause that. And I'll just demonstrate that. So typically what will happen on the downswing for players when they're hitting down at the ball a little bit too much. They're maybe hitting from out to in. What happens on the downswing, they're starting down out of sequence. So we're, they're starting from the top down and then they're swinging. So what happens when you do that, upper body moves first, club gets thrown out. So you can see where the club is now. It's gonna come down across and it's gonna go into out. So it's gonna have a little bit of a descending a descending blow when you do that so that that's usually one of the first problems we look at is the sequence of the golf swing so and that and that gets into that transition from backswing to through swing that, that's that's really the important thing to take a look at so on the correct sequence of motion on the downswing we when we once we get the club back you know, we we want to 
we want to move a little bit more from the ground up and get the pelvis to lead a little bit to start the downswing. And when I do that, the shoulders will unwind behind the hips. They won't open up so much. So now the plane of the swing will a little bit, be a little bit better. It's going to be a little bit more from in and behind. And then when you do that, you're going to come up on the golf ball a little bit more. So swing sequence is very, very important to take a look at. And you really got to look at the dynamics of that and work on that when terms of wanting to improve the angle of approach of your golf swing. So a couple of drills for that, which are very effective, turning and pivoting with the club here, hold it out in front of you, work on that rotation going back where you get separation from upper and lower body, and then lead with the hips, and then rotate into your finish position. So this way you're starting to ingrain that correct sequence of motion on the through swing. That's a really, really good way to feel it. And then the other really good drill for that too is to do the half swing drills or three quarter swing drills with the club suspended up in the air at a 45 degree angle to you, like this. And just work on swinging back, letting the club, you know, just rotate and let the club swing back freely. But then when you come back down, go underneath. So rather than going out and over, work on going back and then underneath and then through. So it looks like this, up, and then you can see how it drops in underneath and where the shaft is pointing now. It's pointing across the target line across me. So when the club comes down, it's got a better chance of coming from in behind and then to go up on the golf ball. So those two drills will help give you some feel for the the correct sequence of motion when you're trying to move that club back and through. So back here, up, underneath, and then through, and around. Another fantastic drill is the set stepping drill. Again, that just emphasizes the correct footwork in the golf swing, especially on the downswing. I'll start that with my feet together. I push the club forward, I step back, then I step forward with the lead foot and through. Do it as slowly as you need to. Again, we're trying to feel the correct footwork in the golf swing. Step, turn, step, turn. And so some golfers will do that just starting from this position here and they'll take the club back and then step forward. So they'll, they'll look like this. They'll start with their feet together. They'll rotate back and then before you start down, you make that first step here. So this way you're initiating with the lower body and then swing through. So those are a couple of things to do to get your pattern of motion correct. You know, and that's, that's important. You can do them as warm ups on the range or practice drills. Now I'm just gonna show you a few little tips or drills you can do while you're hitting the golf ball that will help you to instinctively change your swing path. Now, when we think about the angle of approach, I'll get my trusty hula hoop here. So if we look at the hula hoop, one thing to consider with the driver is where you're teeing up the golf ball. So I've got the hula hoop here in front of me and you can see I've got the orange ball down here in front of me. If I put it too far back in my stance, the club is naturally gonna be descending when I'm striking the golf ball. So the swing is gonna be going down. So the angle of approach will be going down. So that's, that's one thing golfers will you know, struggle with is, is their ball position with the driver. You know, with the driver, we wanna make sure the ball is where? Well, we want it to be more forward. So we can see here on the forward part of the hula hoop, it's starting to come up. And that's where we wanna position the ball with the driver. So we wanna make sure we get the ball far enough forward in our stance so that we have a chance to catch it on the upward swing. So that, that's very important. So that's the one thing we've got to really pay attention to is the ball position of the driver, setting it up so that it's a little bit more forward in the stance. And that's easy to do then. Once you kind of understand that and you, and you realize where that's supposed to be, when I'm setting up, So you can start with your two feet together and just step back with the trail foot and then settle in. And this way you got the ball, you're gonna make sure you got the ball forward in the stance. 
that's the thir- first thing we've got to consider. So we want to work on that. So be aware of the ball position. Make sure it's more forward than back. That's going to help you, give you a chance to swing up on the golf ball. And the other thing that happens with golfers, they start hitting down at the golf ball with the driver. Maybe they start popping up, you know, hitting some funny shots, hitting it too high, slicing. And then someone tells them, oh, tee the ball down lower or they... They start, oh, maybe I'm, you know, I got the ball teed up too high. And, and, and that's a mistake. So, for example, here, I've got some tees here. I'll just show them to you. So, three tees, three different lengths. Now, if I get this sh- low one going here with the driver, I'm going to have problems. You know, it's just too low for the driver. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause me to kind of go down at it, which is what we don't want. We want to use tees that are a little bit higher that you know two and three quarters to three and a quarter so that way you have a chance to swing up on the golf ball so make sure the tee the ball up high high enough so you know because if you've been coming down and popping it up a little bit you know don't go to teeing the ball down lower you know maintain your tee height so i'll show you what that looks like with the driver here but basically here Got my golf ball here. I've got the driver set up here. I want to get the ball up here. I want to get the ball up over top of the golf club, you know, at least half the ball over top of the golf club. That way you have a chance to kind of swing up and hit it up on that upward, on that upward angle of approach. So watch the tee height. Don't get it down too low. So ball forward, don't get the ball down too low either. And then the other thing too is consider where you're hitting the golf ball. So be aware of that. So you can put face tape on it, or you can use um, that Dr. Scholl shoe, uh, foot spray and that, and you can mark the you can mark your club face so that will give you some awareness of where you're striking the ball on the club face. So we want to be try, try, trying to catch it up high and up toward the toe of the golf club. That tells us we're kind of swinging up and through on the golf ball. And if you help to imagine that and visualize that where that strike is, that's going to help you to instinctively change your swing pass so that you can swing up and in on the golf ball. When you're striking it down here, down low on the club face and in toward the heel, what are you doing? You're coming down on it. So be aware of that strike pattern of where you want to strike the ball on the club face. That helps again too. Now just to hit a couple, I'll use my T here. So I'm going to use one of the longer tees. And in fact, when I'm trying to practice that a little bit, I will even exaggerate the tee height and I'll, I'll exaggerate how far, how far forward I put the ball. So that, that's a good practice drill so that when I'm swinging, it encourages me to swing up rather than down at it. So tee it up high, put it put it forward in the stance. And another neat trick to do too, is to start with the club head, no, oh, six to eight, 10 inches behind the golf ball. That's the old Moore Norman drill. This way it gets the club back already. You can turn back behind it and it, it's easier for you to swing up and through on the golf ball. So set, so I first get, I would get set in position, get it forward in the stance, move the club back. And now I'm gonna visualize swinging up on it when I make my swing. And there I barely clipped the top of the tee and swent, you know, sent it along there. And, you know, not bad. I haven't swung that much for a while, 106 miles an hour, maybe about 250 carries. So not, not too bad, not great, but not disastrous. But I made really, really good solid contact and I was sweeping up on it and through. So ball more forward, tee it up higher, and then start with that club head behind the ball, you know, that six to 10 inches. And that will really help you swing up and through on it. And then another thing you can do as well, so when you're swinging, you can put an object up in front here. I put, I usually put something, you know, you could put a, oh, another golf ball down there. You could put another tee down at half its height, you know, something just to kind of give you a reference. And I put it to the inside of the golf ball a little bit. So that encourages me to swing up and out on it. it gives me that visual of swinging up and out and when i have those good visuals where i'm kind of feeling like i'm swinging up and out on it guess what happens when i'm making my golf swing instinctively 
I'll tend to start a little bit more with my lower body. I'll lead a little bit more with the pelvis and I'll have a little bit better sequence of motion. It's a little bit more athletic. So set here again, get that ball forward, start with the club behind and then swing through. And you notice I didn't hit that and I clipped it right up off the tee. So if you work on those few things, That'll really help you uh, improve the angle of approach with your driver and your consistency. And, and you might pick up a little bit of yardage. The thing is, is not to swing harder. Notice, maintain your swing, you know, work on good swing mechanics and just try to optimize on what you're doing. So give those a try. Let me know how they go and we'll see you again.